Okay, we're recording. Okay, so this is how uh, we're getting these. Um, these are brood boxes, and they have a much deeper frame. These are the ones that are going to go on the bottom where the queen bees are going to live and where they're going to actually let the eggs be fertilized, the little chambers. And then after two boxes of these broods grow, you put an excluder so the queen can't get to the upper ones. And the upper ones are these, are the honey gathering boxes. And they're smaller because when this is full of honey, it's very, very heavy. These are uh, made of beeswax and they go into the frames and it gives the bees something to start on. They're very brittle and they're very hard to get into these frames. So I'm going to try that without causing too much damage. But first process is break away this little bar. Let me set it aside. And then these frames are wired. There's two different ways you can do the frame. So this is a wired frame. It has the wires put through it that I did yesterday. And then we're going to line It's very cold this morning, which makes this wax much more brittle than normal, which makes it so that it's not as forgiving to work with. So I'm going to pull it through, and then really carefully we're going to weave this wire. correct side then when we get down here we're gonna push it out and then use our thumbs on those wires and we're gonna do that to then pull it down so a nice secure 90 degree angle and we get this guy back hold him in place here No, just kidding. Oh, we're out of staples. Open it up. Oh, there's staples. Now. Oh, oh, Brad's. I'm sorry. Didn't load one in the chamber for some reason. So then we got the bottom five times, top four times. That's going to secure the comb in place. It goes back in the box. Now this box will go on top of a brood box. And then one of the brood boxes. It's a much bigger frame to wax it in different wax. It's called a deep frame. And you use then the deep frame wax. And again, it's brittle, so let's see how this works. And then these are the holes where you would wire the frame. Again, these aren't wired, so what I'm gonna do, again, I've gotta find this, break this off. Set it aside. Come in from the back. The reason I come in from the back is if you, you can sometimes feed it in from the front this way, but that's the 90 degree on those hooks. And getting a 90 degree through there is very difficult. So it's easier to take the flat side and ease it through the back. With these long ones, it's much harder. See if I can do it without causing too much damage to it. Here, I'm gonna do it like this. Put the corner through. Nice. So we got the edge through now. And I did it backwards. So I gotta take it out because you can't rush, and I rushed. I put it back in the right way. And what I mean right way and wrong way is that 90 degree turn on the wire. That little 90 degree turn has to be in this trough. So now I got it back in the right way. Feed it back down into the trough. Oh, well, careful. You gotta use your thumb on these wires. If you try to force it with your fingers from the top and push it down, these wires stick into the wood. They make it really rigid. And it makes it very, very easy then. See, like right here, 
if I push down, it doesn't want to go because that wire is hanging up on it. So I got to push that wire out, grab it with my thumb, and then by using my thumbs to wrench those down, it pulls it down tight. So we're going to put this back on it. Now, before I staple this, instead of using wires, you can use these clips. And what these do is they speed up the process. It's a little tiny pin with a little... Hold it still. Like a metal clothes pin, basically. Turn it. Rotate it. There you go. And then we're going to put one in the middle. And then the clothes pin will sandwich into the wax comb. Now, we're gonna do that on each side, and that's gonna give the support that the strings give. And the reason I use the strings on, well, actually I use strings on both, but the strings give more of a support all the way across. It takes more time to set them up though. So, I liked the wires across, and I think I'll continue to do the wires across, especially for the the short, the shallow ones that are made for getting the honey, because these brood frames will never be spun. But to extract the honey out of these, they're all going to sit in a round thing, and when you turn it on or crank it, it spins really fast like a centrifuge, and it pulls the honey out. So from what I've heard is if you have just the two little clips, Sometimes the comb won't stay as straight, and when you go to spin the honey, it'll break apart. So having the wires on the short frames, hopefully will keep the honey from falling apart when it spins. And then... You only put two pins per side? Yeah, because it's a brood box, and it's not going to spin, and that's the way that the guy at the store set it up. So yeah. I could put four. There's four holes. And I actually wired the other brood box with wires. If you look over here... These are brood box, and then so you get the two wires on the back, one wire on the front, and then again, putting stuff in, it was so brittle, so you got these little holes and little little deviations everywhere, but they'll fix that. So, last two days I put together two brood boxes, so two deeps, and then two shallows, and then both shallows are wired so they can spin.